Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Philip. If you haven't met me already, my job as a counsellor and a psychologist is to help you with all things mental health. Remember to like this video, subscribe to see plenty more to come. Today, what I want to do is to continue my What Is series, talking about mental health issues that you might be suffering from or you might see other people suffering from and you want to help them out. Today, what I want to do is to talk to you about trauma because trauma is something which is discussed so much in popular culture, but sometimes we don't actually understand what it's all about. So I want to help enlighten you so you can spot the signs of trauma in your life or someone else's. Trauma doesn't just have to be this unbelievable event. Trauma can affect us all in different ways, depending on who we are and the experiences we've had. Let's talk about the three main types of trauma. First off, acute trauma. And this trauma is one specific event which has caused you to feel traumatic symptoms and has shaped your life. Next, chronic trauma. And chronic trauma is something that's so sad because it's just trauma, traumatic events over and over and over again, impacting you and it stops you from being able to live because you're scared of that traumatic event coming up again or the feelings associated with that trauma happening to you. Lastly, complex trauma. And this is when a series of traumatic events are happening over and over and over again. You can't escape it. It stops you from feeling in control of your surroundings. Next, let's talk about some of the common symptoms you might be feeling when you've been through a trauma. And these are shock and denial, confusion, anger, anxiety, guilt, shame, withdrawing from people and the world around you. Because all you can do is focus on that trauma. Your life is dictated to by the feelings surrounding that event or those series of events. And you've got to think in those moments, okay, if you're suffering from these feelings that are coming up over and over and they're getting in the way of your life, you've got to do something about it. But what you can start to do to feel better, and this is a longer process than just clicking your fingers and that's it. You need to start relating to that trauma as something that's happened, something that's in the past, but something that you can work through. So those feelings around anger, frustration, sadness, that fury, what are you going to do with them? That's how you start to dissipate those emotions. Because remember, if you don't start using them, it's going to keep on knocking at that door saying, sort this out, do something, fix something. If you haven't fixed it, What's going to happen? You're just going to sit there and those feelings are going to keep on coming up. So what can you do to start to do that? And that means from my point of view and something that I might tell some of my clients and what I'm telling you is to talk to people, to start relating to that emotion, not just as you've got to deal with it yourself, as friends, family, even a counsellor can help you to diffuse those emotions and use them and put them in a box ready to be understood when you need to and so you can feel safe in the knowledge that you're dealing with something you're progressing you're growing and from doing that the trauma won't be a part of your life anymore and that's just the first thing the second thing is to start using that emotional porosity in a constructive way and that could be doing anything such as exercise finding a hobby or an interest something that you feel you can use that emotional space in order to create and grow. So that instead of that trauma being something that holds you down, holds you back, you're using it in a productive, constructive way to give something back to the world and also something back to you. Because if you're not feeling happy, you can't help anyone. And if you're not feeling happy, you're not going to be able to do anything that you want. So again, number one, start talking to people. Number two, start using that emotion in a constructive way. And number three is acceptance. You need to accept that this trauma has happened to you. It's not fair, it's not right. But by saying it's not fair and not right, I'm getting angry and angry and angry and not doing anything about it, it's just gonna stay in you, locked away forever, and it's just gonna impact your life outside of that trauma. It's gonna impact your relationships, work, fun, friends, everything is gonna be impacted unless we start to use those first two steps in order to get free from that trauma. I've been talking to you today about things that you need to implement into your life, but some of these things take a little time, right? It's not something that's just going to go away. So what can you do right now? And just by watching this video, you've gone one step further on because you've put it into your head that it totally needs to change. You've got some of those tips that I've shared with you. And also it's primed you to go, okay, I'm ready to make a change and do something different. What you can start to do right now, though, is to sit back and think, yes, I have been through a trauma. And just by accepting that and embracing that as a fact, not that it's right, not that it's fair, not that you wanted it, but the fact that you can embrace that means that you can at least breathe and go, I have been through something. I'm allowed to feel this way. 
but I'm going to do something to make my life better as a result. That's the end of the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you realize that trauma is something that's happened to us all. It doesn't have to be something that's huge. It can be something which just really impacted you emotionally. And it's okay to admit that. It's okay to feel that feeling. But rather than sit back and go, I can't do anything with this. Look forward and go, I'm going to make my life great. Whether it's been through a trauma or not. Use those emotions in order to empower you rather than hold you back. And again, that's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions for me, why don't you share them with me? And also, any issues that you want me to solve or help you to solve, why don't you leave them in the comments and I can try and make a video in the future. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.